Here we go. Hey guys. Hi. This is my sweet baby, my niece, Nichelle. We just sitting here talking and chit chatting about different things. We were talking about spirits on. Oh yeah, a few minutes ago. The spirits in the movie theater. So you you still feel like they are there. Yes. The mm -hmm. actual one we're talking about is the movie theater in Aurora that had the shooting. And actually we grew up going to that movie theater. It's walking distance from mm -hmm. our home. And I tell people all the time to show how close it was to home that Sunday before um, the Batman premiere, my kids and my nephew all walked there, and I believe they walked there, because we always walked yeah. to the movie theater, to the theater. and watched Spider-Man in that exact same movie theater the Sunday before the shooting. The shooting. Man. That's how close to home it hit, so like, when the shooting occurred, myself and my family members were receiving phone calls. It's kind of like a chicken oh. in the morning, so... Uh -huh. My family, they heard the ambulance and the helicopters and just a lot of commotion. Really? Yeah. It was so close that they're trying to figure out, like, what is all this commotion? Because normally it's a quiet neighborhood. Yeah, quiet. Yeah, it's in Aurora. Yeah. yeah it's it was, that was so close. I mean, you just never know. It's so close to home. And I'm just thankful my kids. Yeah. Didn't like Batman. <laughs> <laughs> they Batman. love Spider-Man. Uh, yeah. So the guy... He killed, I don't know how many people, you remember? I don't remember how but many But did he people. kill himself? No, because he, he just went to trial recently. Oh, okay, and, um, okay. Was prosecuted. I think he was trying to say he was crazy, but mm. no, he, well, it's just sickening. But yeah. I've I actually visited recently, and we kind of joke around, but we call it the Shoot It Up movie theater. The shoot It Up. <laughs> we can't believe they actually opened this movie theater. Yeah, up. back up. And the conversation started because we were talking about how they, Bulldoze the Walmart in El Paso. Yeah, recently. they and bull, I, and it's they flatten it yeah, out. Flatten it out, and I was there uh, the week of the shooting. The shooting, we were actually and visiting. I mean, yeah, El Paso. El Paso yeah, mm -hmm. and we were riding down twenty, and we were like, "Where are all these highway patrolmen coming from?" And we were just like, "My friend and I we was like, maybe they're coming from." the shooting but it was like we were 200 miles away from El Paso oh man but they were actually taking shifts I guess and we stayed down the street from that exact Walmart and the news report just came and showing they bulldozed it so yeah. we were talking about it like I wonder what they're going to do with that movie theater I mean with the yeah Walmart. because you you was talking about you could feel spirits yeah, it's like and spirits when you go in that theater it's like they're just walking through and it just it's overwhelming because it could be a sense of you thinking that oh no it's just in my mind I know what happened mm -hmm. oh like, yeah yeah you if are. you have that other sense is you just feel you feel it yeah uneasiness in that theater and it just it's just a I, we're we're appalled that they opened that theater back up like that it, it should have been on memorial so 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 okay it's like a regular movie theater and you go down the aisle and there are different theaters different theaters so um, they they just remodeled it and opened it back up. But these spirits are not at risk. In they are still theater. in that that one pick, but particular theater. So if you go to another theater in that camp, you don't you don't feel that way. It's it's just as soon as you walk in the movie theater, so they could be mm. walking around in the hallway. Oh, the whole thing. Go to the bathroom. You just you just feel, feel it. the time you walk in there. Wow. It's just overwhelming, and I tell people like sometimes you have this sense of thing, and people don't just make like movies based on your thought like this really exists based on true events so, so true events so it's not the movie that's making things happen it's the events that's the making events. the movie it's, it's unsettled spirits that are walking around on earth i feel that mm -hmm. are actually needing answers and just don't have those answers until they get those answers those spirits won't be at ease We've so what, so do, many what do you supposed to do when you encounter these kind of spirits and uh, well, when my the kids, presence of them. When my kids encounter, I tell them, ask them what they want. <laughs> <laughs> ask them. Just like, what do you want? 
You know, maybe they'll give you some signs stop. of help and tell them leave you alone after that. But they're not know, there to harm you. When I when they See, bother they me, when they bother me, I tell them to get the hell out. <laughs> I, I tell cuss them, them out. It's like, because if they're coming to you and you know they're coming to you, maybe you have the answers for them and they can what, rest their What souls. am I supposed to say? I don't know. Maybe they'll drop. You heard some noise in your kitchen while ago. I know. They They're always trying to get some houses. <laughs> they want some food. <laughs> well, what not nothing in there was. No, nah, I know. They did some dirty dishes. Maybe they want to <laughs> wash my dishes. You're going to go in there. Uh, <laughs> my uh, egg now going to be gone. They better not. <laughs> Girl, it's crazy enough around here. It really is. It's a lot going and, on. And Sonny, you know, she'll be sitting there and I hear something. She'll look. <laughs> I'll say, and I'll look up in the ceiling. She'll look up like, you better fix this. Well, <laughs> I heard like it was a tsunami that hit and they were like, you should take heed to animals. animals yeah. Animals right, go they to higher it. ground mm-hmm. and they feel it. So they feel it. Pay attention to your animals. That's <laughs> Sunny show. Be doing it. She do it before I do. I said, dang, Sonny, come on. I don't want to deal with these. And she just look like, ain't you going to do something? <laughs> well, if they can talk, maybe she can yeah, tell you what to do. Because you know when somebody comes to the door, she barks. And yeah, it's she like, barks when I knock yeah, at the door. Yeah, it's like, shit, it ain't nobody at the door. So <laughs> it's somebody in here. I'm like, dang, Sonny. So, oh, crazy. I don't know, maybe just pay attention to the spirits. They got something to say. I tell my grandmother all the time, I'm not going to heaven or hell. I'm going to purgatory. There ain't no such thing. I said, well, if it wasn't purgatory, why are there ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> so, Big Mama said it's no purgatory. Big Mama said it's no purgatory. So, you either going to heaven or hell. Oh, yeah. But who came up with purgatory? Yeah, so the Catholic people come up with that. And so, what they, the priest did was if if you have a, a family that died and you didn't know if they were living right, well, you could pay the priest and they would pray uh, so many offerings and candles and your loved one would be out of purgatory See? and in heaven. But that's a gimmick. That's, they get your money. Well, give me, they get their money, don't they? Yeah, they get it. But I guess the people get out of purgatory. We don't know if they get out of purgatory. So when we have these ghosts walking around here, they just stuck in purgatory. They, they still, to, they, okay, that's what they got. <laughs> And like on the movie Ghost, when you see the blackness. Yeah. Because I asked them, I said, are they light or are they dark? Which one? My daughter just told me recently, Mama, I seen something. Which passed me? I said, what? Was it light or dark? She told me, it's kind of dark. I said, you better leave that one alone. Oh, really? So Kyle is seeing stuff like that. In her house, but her, her house probably needs to be exercised. Yeah, that house is funny. When there. Tank was younger, he would see you. He would see the ghost, too. And they probably just... Their dad's free, and I don't know. But but yeah, see those old houses over there? Mm-hmm. They were owned by older white people. Older white people. And, and the house I had yeah. over there like that, it was like that. Every evening, the same time, these bushes would give off a funny smell. And I looked up, botany and everything. See, what the, I, I knew what kind of bush it was, but it wasn't the smell of a flower. It was just a, per, a pungent smell. A pungent smell. It's like that. And if you could go and research that particular home and find out what happened at that time. I promise you, you'll find out what that smell was. Well, you know what? The man that I bought the house from, he did die in that house. See? He the, died. The, the person we bought the home from, the wife died in that house, and that's why we got such a good deal, because the husband was trying to sell the home. Oh, trying to get rid of it. Trying to get rid of it. And it was like, died. it was so funny when we first got there, I remember the phone would ring up in the attic. Oh, the phone in the attic? But we didn't know because we didn't have a phone in the house. But it was <laughs> ringing up in the attic. And it was a movie where the phone was ringing up in the oh, attic. I don't remember man. the name of the movie. but You're kidding. Yeah, so we was kind of freaked out for a while. But my mother, That's she was crazy. sick. I remember the yeah. was sick. Yeah, she, she didn't die in the house. She didn't die she in the house, sick. but her spirit would walk through. And sure. the reason why I know, because my son face would just light up. Mark, Mark's face? Mark, he, he was like, Mom, I just seen now. But his face that. would be like a glow. And I was like, no, you did. What she have on? And she's like, a purple dress. And I know it had to be her because when Mom came back from California in that purple dress of mine, he didn't oh, see her. He didn't get a chance to see her. He didn't get a so- chance to see her because by the time she came in, I was like, Mom, you lost all your weight. Took her back to the room. Got her undressed. She put some more clothes on, and but she had lost so much. She weight. had lost so much weight. She yeah. stayed in California. I was just like, "Did you eat anything?" She was like, "Everything." She went home. 
Mm-hmm. That was a rough flight. Oof. But she was so determined to, to go. go. She was. And and a lot of people trying to talk her out of it. But Ain't it? She I don't did. Live, but a week, what a week after she, she came, came back? She came back Tuesday and was gone uh, the next two, the following Tuesday. Yeah. And she made me book her that flight. She gave me a credit card that I should have charged up. Because mm-hmm. it had a $25,000 limit on <laughs> <laughs> But I was like, Mama, that that ticket is, got up to $500. She said, what did I ask you to do? Just charge it Just anyway. Just charge it anyway. I said, oh, okay. But you don't feel good. She said, what did I say? I'm going to see my brother. I said, yeah. okay. And I'm going to church. Girl, them and, folks. She, and you know the song. She Remember the song? Mm-hmm. She wrote a song. Thank you for all the days of my life. Yeah, and they sung it at her funeral. Mm-hmm. But she flew back that week. Yeah, your mother was a, Dyers was a special woman. Yes, she was. yes. If you encountered her, yeah. you no, know, she touched you in she some did. type of way. She and probably got what? on my nerves. But, but you know what? <laughs> Can you picture her being here? I can't picture a space for her. It's like she didn't fit anymore. Can you picture her? I can't. I can't picture her this I, time. I, was, I, I feel like she fulfilled I everything. picture her with those grandbabies. The grandbabies, yeah. And I've kind of like taken on the, you are her. You managed to be. Yeah, yeah. You, you ended up being her. I try to keep my kids and their cousins together. Together, yeah. Possible. Yeah. So. And even Big Mama, you turned into. Yeah, I mean. I know. Like, y'all turn into the old people. So, because when we move, it's just like uh, musical chairs. When we move, y'all take our spots. I ain't got time for that, huh? That's what's going to happen. <laughs> I mean, it, that's the way the world is. It's I'm going to find me a beach. You want to turn a, a beach? I'm going to find me a beach to go to and can't nobody turn the beach. I'm going to be gone. <laughs> I'm going to be gone. Can't nobody turn me on that beach. No, I'm going to turn my phone off. Metro yeah. might not work on the beach. And, but when we come find you, you're going to mm-hmm. be an older mm-hmm. woman. I'm going to tell you right on that. Yeah, <laughs> no, uh, we come back in the spirits. Uh huh. We gonna find you. Come <laughs> back in the spirits. Go back over there on the other side, man. This so, is this is my niece, and we sometimes we have conversations. We be on the phone. Her her phone will go dead. After yeah, four hours. Three, three hours <laughs> over three hours. We're talking and laughing, and she gives me so much energy. See, I'm glad to hear that because I, I get a lot from you too. Yeah, we, we like I told to someone her. earlier. I said, let me go talk to my auntie because she'll understand what I've been going through today because yeah. it's mm-hmm. been it's a okay. rough emotional week for me. Just my mother's birthday was last week. Yeah, it was on the thirteenth. Mm-hmm. Passed away last week. We buried her. Wow, Would have been yesterday. The anniversaries. Mm-hmm. It's just been. A and you know. Week. Dear mother's birth, uh, the day of her death will always come around and you'll feel this sadness. Yeah, My mother's been gone since 71. And sometimes I forget October 10th. And then I'll be feeling so bad. A week before, you mm-hmm. get feeling funky. Uh-huh. You'd be like, what is wrong with the, me? And I'll start crying. And it's I'll either say, the birthday or the anniversary. Or the anniversary. Her, her death anniversary really gets me. Mm-hmm. But you'll, you'll, you'll never forget but the pain gets better. It gets better. It gets, it, it does get mm-hmm. better. But some days, you, you, when it gets close, that day you just like it's a I always for me like a week before, and then yeah, I'll look at the that. calendar mm-hmm. and be like, Da-da-da. or somebody be like, "You okay?" I'm like, "I'm good." Like, mm-hmm. don't sometimes don't be a constant reminder yeah, of that to time. someone of yeah. that time, and you heal. In your own way, you know, yeah. You, you never get over it. My cousin just lost his mother. She was ninety eight years old, and mm-hmm. she was ninety eight. Oh my god! And he's just like, it's it's hard. You, you just love your mama. Why you got to change? Because when she gone, but don't you think that Elwin, since his mother has passed, don't you think he's neglecting himself or Mm-mm, just no. he he looks Elwin aside? I said he is seeming weaker, but or he's something. he's. He's he's has he always been like that? Yeah. I hadn't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's been like that, but he's just like you just you lose a part of yourself when you lose your mom. Yeah, you do that because he's on a cane. Yeah, you say, what happened? But yeah. I guess I, it, it happens to all of us because I would have had my cane if I <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to have one now. I'm supposed to have it. <laughs> me and you both. They asked they ask me when I go to the doctor, Mr. Child, where's your cane? I said, uh, my cane? Oh, I said, yeah. <laughs> You already got the ticket. You ain't got to play crazy. No, nah, I ain't got to play. No, nah, you, you, you already got the money. They don't even harass you no more. Mm-mm. 
And they asked you if you're taking your medication. I said, what medicine? <laughs> mm, yep, I take it. Yes, I do. Yeah, on a regular. regular. Shoot. That's crazy. <laughs> this is my darling baby. Hey. My daughter. This is the, the daughter I never had. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I've met some kind of a lot of people. You are? Really? Because you, you, I got a picture of you when you're about three months old. And I told your mother, I said, this is my baby. Can I have her? She looked. I'll share. You can't have <laughs> Oh, my gosh. We're going to end on this note. But this is my connection to the young people. Because <laughs> my sons, oh, man, they, they scold me all the time. So That's because they're your kids. Yeah. <laughs> and you better never scold me. <laughs> I'm going to scold you, but then I'm going to leave. <laughs> yeah, you're going to leave. It was nice talking to you again.